Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Kirsten James Dunn, and I will be guiding you through this course. All right, let's get started and let's move away from our Zoom screen and over to our course screen. So what we see here is a survey of British literature. Now I'm showing English 315, but there will also be a 515. And those instructions will be slightly different and I'll do a follow-up there, but much will be precisely the same. Primarily, it will differ in the uh, to the extent of your assignments and what is required. We require a little more graduate students than we do of undergraduates. All right, now let's just kind of look over at the page itself. This is called the landing page. And what we see is in the center, there's a, a bright graphic and that, that helps you know that you're here. Um, now, basically, these are kind of our key assignments and these remain pretty much the same. There may be some slight development. This course is, is still under, under construction. So you'll want to always attend to your assignments. Now, now I'm getting ahead of us. Over here, the left, we see what I call a navigational panel. Call it that because it helps you navigate between the various parts of the course pages. Uh, there are a number of pages. All these are separate pages of this website that is our course website. And for example, you'll see we have syllabus, rather important to read. Um, it is essentially the overview and details of how the grades determined and evaluated for your course and what you can anticipate overall uh, skills you can anticipate acquiring from the course. We have meet your instructor, which would be me, basically. Uh, you have meet your classmates, attendance, you won't see assignments, very important, we'll be looking at that soon, grade book. Uh, you should all be able to know what your grade is throughout the term. Uh, occasionally, uh, there might be a delay in the grading of something, but generally not. Uh, you should always be able to know what your, your status is. Um, instructions, very important area. This is where you can find the assignment requirements uh, and guides the instructions for the course. And then we have several units and each unit lasts about three weeks and has within it information. Over to the right, we see student resources included in that. Uh, I will be replacing this generic video with this instructional video I'm creating right now. And then I check my email from about nine to six, uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, 5 to 6 p.m. This this is probably changing this term due, due to other responsibilities I have. Um, online office hours have not yet been determined. Online office link is right here. Uh, additionally, students need to complete online proficiency tests and report the results. Now, this is the link to that online proficiency test. Why do I do that? Because this course is completely asynchronous and online. Uh, yes, you can make an appointment with me. Uh, you can discuss your questions with me. You can email me. But this is not the same as a course in which you'll be having uh, real-time contact with me uh, on a routine basis. So I am pointing that out. Uh, the announcement section, uh, the current announcement is, yes, this course is under construction, but I will place announcements of important information here. So you might want to check that. And then, of course, we have our land acknowledgement. I just want to take a moment in the midst of our uh, navigation video and introduction to acknowledge how grateful we are to the Yakima Nation. Heritage was founded by two Yakima women uh, elders, Violet Lonely Rao and Martha Yala. And both of them had this vision for creating our university, which has since been instrumental in social justice and in creating educational opportunities uh, for the Yakima Nation and for uh, the Yakima Nation's neighbors who live here as well, other communities. So we are thankful for our home in the Yakima Nation. All right, let's work over towards uh, looking at some of our assignments. 
Now, in the assignments area, uh, you'll see that there are uh, assignments that they'll appear more clearly once the course has started. But for example, for navigation, the course navigation exam. All right. Um, I'm coming over here because uh, I want to make sure that this is open, that we can refer to it while we go through this. This is the only exam that I will actually be walking through with you ahead of time because it's instructional, essentially. This exam is non-punitive. It is meant simply uh, to help you better understand the requirements of the course. Okay, so um, I'm going to go back to our overview and find... Um, Let's see, course builder and preview this test. Good. All right. So looking at section one, students need to have access to a laptop or desktop computer in order to complete this course. Yes, you do. Just a mobile phone or a tablet won't do. You really do need to have access to a laptop or a desktop computer. If you do not have this, a heritage can help. Email me and let me know, hopefully in advance of the class, and I will uh, try to help direct you to those who can support you getting uh, the resources you need to complete this course. Uh, on number two, students will find the navigational panel menu in blue letters with a gray background on the left side of their screen. Let's go back again. As I said earlier, yes, this is the navigational panel, uh, blue lettering, gray background, and that is where you can transition between different parts of the course. So the answer to our first is true. The answer to our second is true. We will start seeing a pattern here. Uh, number three, select course overview on the navigational panel menu to find the landing page for this course. The landing page has a large graphic on it and is also features resources on the right side of the page. So we were just talking about that. This is our landing page. And as you can see, uh, we have student resources over here to the right. Now, if I were to go, say, into the instructions section, which is, is also in the midst of being created right now, um, and then I wanted to go back to the landing page for some reason, I could go back to course overview and resources, and there is a landing page. All right. Let's go back to our course. So the answer to that is true, number uh, three. Then the syllabus section on the left side navigational panel is where one finds the course syllabus. The syllabus complains important, like it contains, doesn't complain, contains important course information and should be read by students by the end of the first week of classes. Yes, this is advisable because you also have a very narrow window to decide on whether or not this course is for you this term. And you need to go through that syllabus and find it out. So here I am over at our landing page, and you see on the navigational panel to the left, syllabus. Again, if you're on a, a laptop or you're on a desktop computer, things will look like I'm showing you on this screen. If you are not, if you're on a phone or a tablet, it might look a little bit different depending. But the point is you want to find syllabus to read the syllabus. And this right now is an old draft that I'm currently updating. But you can read through this or you can actually open it up. So I would select that, for example. In my case, I have to do kind of a double click system. And then um, it asked me to enable editing in my current version of Microsoft operating system in Word. And then you can read through it like this. Now we are not going to read through the syllabus together today, but the syllabus is available. All right, let's get back to our discussion of the course. All right. So the syllabus. And the answer to question four is true. Number five, on the left side navigational panel, uh, the Meet Your Instructor selection takes students to information about this course's instructor. Is that true? Let's find out. All right, Meet Your Instructor. And yes, it takes us to information about me. It tells you that I am actually a doctor. That is, I have a PhD. 
I uh, have an office here. Again, my office hours will be changing. Those were for autumn. This tells you I have a BA in liberal arts from the Evergreen State College and master's of education in adult education. I have an MAABT professional development in English and English literature. I have a certification in documentary film production from the University of Mad Manchester. I have an MA in museology and philosophy also from the University of Manchester. And I have a PhD in museology and research methods, which is an emphasis I teach uh, also at, at Heritage Philosophy. I teach this course uh, and research methods. I also uh, teach museum studies and history. My research and te teaching history includes Central Washington University, uh, the Evergreen State College, the University of Manchester, the University of Leicester, uh, British Museum in London, the British Library in London, the Royal College of Surgeons in London, uh, Symposia at Cambridge, the Pitt Rivers Museum in Oxford, Royal Anthropological Institute in London, American Indigenous Research Association, and Heritage University at Toppenish, of course. All right, let's go back to our test. So, Finding out about me is true. Now it also says you can find out about your classmates. When you go to meet your classmates at the moment, you won't see much of anyone but me. But later on, there'll be a list. Now, um, sometimes in our graduate program, there may only be uh, one or two students, depending on the term. Uh, however, uh, I am always there as well. So uh, it's an easy way to, to contact me is you can also just select me Click that box, open an email, and then you would see subject, and it's just like an email, any kind of email message you would write. Write your subject, uh, include the course. So, for example, um, you might say English 315, and then your subject, which is um, question about about the current paper, for example. And then you would write whatever your question about the term paper was. Now, it doesn't have to just be me. Oh, and you can either send after you've written something or you can cancel if you think the better of what you've just written. All right. So there will be more students here and after the course starts, if you want to converse with a, a co-learner, you could select them. Or if you wanted to send a message to all of us, you could check this top box that will select everyone. And then again, open the email and, and uh, continue. All right, let's go back. So the answer then uh, to number six is true. Number seven, on the left side navigational panel, the assignment selection is available. It is critically important that students check the assignments panel each day and complete any assignments that are due. This is true. So let's go look. Oh, let it zoom. Let's look at assignments. So I'm back here at my navigational panel, my transitional panel, and I am going to choose assignments. When I look at assignments, what do I see? I see that basically there's a course navigation exam, which we're working on right now. Uh, there's a unit one exam, unit two, unit three, unit four, unit five. And then unit six is actually about the final exam in the term paper. Okay. And so you'll note that I have comprehensive final, which is an online exam. And then the term paper is a paper. And ultimately this is going to be uploaded to anthology, which used to be called Chalk and Wire. All right, I'm going to come back up here though. We're currently right here, course navigation exam, and you'll be taking that. And again, the course navigation exam is going to look just like this. So uh, the answer to this is yes, that's where you would find assignments. That's true. All right. Number eight, the professor does not accept late work under any circumstances for this course and all work is due for completion by the last day of classes, no exceptions. It's correct. That's absolutely true. I don't accept late work and I do not accept anything after the last day of classes. I don't mean finals week. I mean the last day the heritage holds classes in any given term. All right. 
Number nine, students are able to see their grades and gradebook status throughout the course. This is true. We were talking about that earlier. On the left side navigational panel, the instructions selection contains handouts and links to critically important assignments, uh, completion information and support. Okay, let's find out. We're still in assignments and we want to move over to instructions. And in this case, it says instructions, literary criticism and term paper. So let's select that. Instructions, literary uh, criticism and term paper. Here we have the course overview and navigation. And this is not done yet, but videos for this entire unit will be ready by, in this case, the 12th of January. If you're having this in some other term, that date might change. But for the moment, if I have something that's still in construction, I will always tell you when it's going to be uh, ready. For example, if we move down to unit two, Hello, unit two. Um, in this section, we see that over here I have a video. It says it's going to be ready January 28th. In unit one, uh, we have this will be ready by the 12th of January. So generally speaking, I will tell you there's something incomplete when it's going to be complete. Ideally, I will have those things ready for you well in advance of when you need them. And for some of you, if you're getting this course, uh, it may already all be in place. If it isn't in place, I'll explain. And otherwise, it will be there for you. Okay. Again, you can also email me. So let's say that you were concerned. You weren't able to see something. You could email me uh, here at gun underscore k at heritage.edu. So my email is always there. My email is also in this student resources panel, um, we have, at least it's usually there. It will be there. Don't worry. Uh, and it's also in the syllabus, the course syllabus. So uh, here we have uh, the course meeting link. And generally speaking, you can also find uh, my information there. Well, that's exciting. So it's good for me to do this. I also know what I need to add now. And let's go back to our course exam. Uh, so uh, the answer to um, number 10 is true. Uh, then that there are instructions right here uh, for you to find. And I'll have um, key assignments list about the exams, varieties of literary criticism about the term paper, and then handouts. For example, I already have the undergraduate term paper and the graduate term paper. Um, You'll probably only be able to see, if you're an undergraduate, the undergraduate term paper. As a graduate, you're only going to be able to see the graduate term paper exam. But I will have those instructions at the ready for you. All right, let's go back here. So um, this is true, and you'll find uh, information that is necessary under instructions. And then on the left side navigational panel, there are also units listed. These units consist Content information essential to the successful course completion. They include readings, handouts, video lectures, supplementary videos, etc. The unit content forms a basis for completion of assignments and exams. And this is true. But let's go take a look. So the first unit you're coming into is unit one, the traditional British literary canon. And you'll have an introductory video. It also goes with this introductory information. Uh, we have a to-do list for the term, uh, rather for this unit. And it's generally pretty similar throughout the units. Complete this unit's reading. Watch the video supplementals. Complete this unit's exam. The syllabus for this course outlines the requirements and expectations for the course. It's critical to read through the syllabus. So in your first unit, that's one of the things you need to do is go back to that syllabus page. We have a timeline of information, which in this initial video, I will also be going over with you. It's quite a long timeline. We have a timeline of old to modern English. I'll be discussing that with you. 
we have, again, the major introductory information. We have the readings. Now, this is important. Um, the readings are all listed right here, the readings that go with the unit. And you'll find, if you select that, for example, you've got Canterbury Tales, the general prologue to read. And it's it's nice in that you don't have to buy a text for this course, but you do have to be able to be uh, uh, savvy enough to get there to these links. Um, if you find a version that you prefer, you're welcome to use it. Uh, but I think it's, it's pretty easy uh, just to go ahead and um, find these spaces. Some of them may take a while to load. You get, get the general idea, though. Um, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, there are many versions of this online. Um, the one we're using, this is an aside, the one we're using is a Gutenberg as it's freely available. We're also looking at uh, Great Expectations and A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. Okay. So that is our initial unit. Um, it's possible those readings will change, but for the moment, I think we're, we're pretty much where we want to be with those readings for the course. Again, this course is subject to a little bit of change throughout just a little bit. Um, all right. Let's go back to our landing page and let's look at our coursework. So the answer uh, to this section about units is true. Number 12, students may email the professor with any questions about the course completion, content, and assignments. They may also attend office hours with the professor online. The well, at the time of the office hours and link to those online sessions is available under student resources on the landing page. Uh, meet the instructor on the navigational panel and in the course syllabus. And that is also all, all true. Okay, I thank you for your, your patience. It's a little strange navigating before everything is completely in place. Um, but uh, I, I look forward to working with you. Um, again, this course is not exceptionally interactive. Uh, but these are uh, a solid basis. We'll provide you a solid basis in the subject of a survey of British literature. Now, please also, again, pay special attention to announcements because there will be occasional opportunities for us to get together as a group and discuss in real time or to use resources such as the Padlet resources uh, and other social media in order to engage from a distance. Uh, if those sessions become available, you'll see them under announcements. So please do pay, pay close attention to the announcements and check your email because I will uh, often email students with information about the course and with updates to the course. Thank you. I look forward to working together. Stay safe, be well. And uh, have, have a wonderful break if you're in the midst of your break. And I hope that uh, this course brings you much pleasure and engagement and that uh, we can share some of the excitement of social narrative, uh, even though we are asynchronous and online. Thank you so much.